I'm going to be honest with you guys. The SEC might suck this year. But anyways, here's my SEC power rankings going into week three. Unfortunately, due to my busy schedule of playing video games and procrastinating, I have to record this video very fast. So, but no, on a more serious note, I have been extremely busy this week. So this will be a rushed week of my rankings list. Um, I do apologize, and next week will be a whole lot better. I also want to point out that last week I went 12-2 and in my predictions. I'm doing pretty good at this so far, I would say myself. We'll see how it goes. Last week's episode, I predicted Wake Forest was going to beat the hell out of these boys. And what happened? <laughs> exactly that. Vanderbilt. And then Vander tore down. These guys are playing UNLV this week. I'm going to be honest with you guys. I'm going with UNLV here. I, don't, I have no faith in this team at all. Number 13, Florida. Last week, Florida beat McNeese State. McNeese, 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 who gives a shit? Anyways, yeah, I couldn't have gave two shits about that. All right, I mean, yeah, they look good, but they play my local primary school. There's no sense in moving y'all up in the rankings because y'all play Tennessee this week, and I'm just gonna go ahead and be honest with you. I got Tennessee winning this game. Got Tennessee winning this game big, actually. Uh, yeah, enjoy y'all's year, Florida fans. I mean, you got Meth Mountain versus the Cocaine Everglades, and you got Georgia right here in the middle. Why do you think we love Chick-fil-A so much? We need Jesus. Number 12, South Carolina. I'm not even going to lie to you guys. I almost dropped these guys to 13. Defense, terrible. O-line, terrible. Team name, I dig it. So y'all can stay 12th for now. However, this week, y'all play the number one team in the land, the Georgia Bulldogs, and we'll be holding a ceremony praying for you guys before the game. Of course, I predict Georgia to win big here. Sorry, boys. Number 11, Missouri. I mean, y'all are undefeated. I mean, y'all look decent, I guess. Y'all barely beat Middle Tennessee. I mean, all I'm saying is I ain't gonna give you guys too much props. Y'all play Kansas State this week. This is gonna be a really tough matchup for you guys. If you guys can win this game, you guys might change your mind a little bit. Unfortunately, I predict you won't. Number 10, Texas A&M. Last week, I said this is my sleeper team to win the West. And this week, I say I'm a dumbass. I understand they lost to a good Miami team, but it's the way they lost, okay? I had so much praise for you guys, and you guys just disappointed me. You let me down, all right? Like a prom night miracle, okay? You remember on prom night when you had that girl, and you was trying to, you know, you was trying to get lucky, and she turned you down? That's what this felt like to me, okay? You just... You gave me blue balls, Texas A&M. What's wrong with y'all? Y'all play Louisiana Monroe next, and yeah, I, I, I will say y'all will probably win that game, but y'all really let me down this year. Number nine, Kentucky. Last week, y'all had a 28-17 win over Akron, and I don't know what to make of these teams. Like, these lower-tier teams, like, y'all are all y'all are struggling. Y'all look like shit. I can't call it. I can't. No, I don't even know how to rank you guys. I should have just did a Pac-12 rankings. This week, Kentucky takes on Akron. I do predict they'll win that game. Hopefully not a slap sloppily. Hopefully not as sloppily as they did last week. Number eight, Mississippi State. Mississippi State had a 31-24 win over Arizona last week. And I got to give them credit. That is a Power 5 school. So, hey, good job, boys. However, this week, y'all play LSU. And in my predictions, I got LSU to win that game. Not by big, though. But, yes, hopefully. It has nothing to do with LSU being my team either, okay? Speaking of my team, at number seven, we got LSU. Last week, we had a 72-10 to win over Grambling. Gambling. Scrambling, scrambling, it don't fucking matter. We beat the hell out of them boys and sent them back home. The point is, LSU looked really bad in the first game of the year, but they have a chance to turn that around now. I think they will do that today. They played Mississippi State, SEC opponent, division rival, and I do believe LSU pulls it out today. Please, God. Number six, I got Auburn. Now, last week, I predicted... Remember, y'all remember I told y'all this shit now. I told y'all Auburn traveling across the country and playing late at night that they was going to be sloppily, that it was going to be a close game, but I felt like Auburn was going to pull it out. And I was right. I was right on that. I called that. Yes. They had a 14-10 win over California. I'm not going to worry too much about the score because, like I said, they did have to travel all the way across the country. This week, Auburn plays Sanford. I do believe they'll win that game by a big margin. Number five, Arkansas. Now, I told you guys, Arkansas was my dark horse this year, and they're looking pretty good. They're still they're still good, doing pretty good. Had a 28-6 win over uh, Kent State last week, and this week they take on BYU. Their defense looks a lot better. Offense is still cooking. I'm telling you guys, if this team can click together, they can jail. This is a good team here. Number four, I got Alabama. Alabama lost to Texas last week, and I know it didn't look so good. I this week, however, Alabama takes on University of South Florida. I think Alabama win that game. Alabama fans, you guys shouldn't worry too much about this. I mean, it's still early in the season. I think you guys have a chance to be a really good team. I think you guys can still make the playoffs. I wouldn't worry about it too much. Number three. Number three, Tennessee. Tennessee beat Austin Paya. Pia. Pooey, whatever, 30-13 last week, and it did not look pretty, but I still got faith in Tennessee. They still look like a good team. I believe in teams sometimes playing down their opponents. Um, 
that that totally contradicted everything I said early about all these other teams. But still, Tennessee looks good. They play Florida this week. I do predict Tennessee to win that game. Uh, and keep chugging. Number two, and I cannot believe I'm saying this, Ole Miss. Ole Miss had a 37 to 20 win over Tulane last week. But we got to remember, this is a top 25 Tulane. Ole Miss just keeps looking better and better. I ain't going to lie to you guys. These guys look like a good team. This week they played Georgia Tech. I predict Ole Miss to win that game and keep on chugging along and I'm telling you, these guys right here might be a threat later on. Number one, Georgia. I really don't have too much to say about these boys. I mean, everybody else is kind of looking in here, except for Ole Miss, of course, and maybe Arkansas, maybe two or three other teams. But Georgia is looking like the number one team in the country right now. They're looking stupid stacked. Um, these boys had a 45-3 win over Ball State last week. This week they play South Carolina. I predict these boys to dominate this game through and through. Georgia Bulldogs keep chugging along. These guys are going to hold the number one spot for a while, it looks like. If y'all like the video, comment, like, share, follow. Let me know what you think of the rankings. Let me know what your rankings are. I'll see you guys next week. Appreciate you guys.